what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where it is official the maserati ghibli is dead in 2024 and maserati is also taking away the twin turbo v8 engine now we all knew it was coming and we talked about this before the quattro porte sedan replacing the ghibli and the v8 possibly going away and now it's official the Maserati Ghibli will disappear from the brand's dealerships in 2024 as the Stellantis brand will consolidate its range of sedans, also eliminating the option of the twin turbo V8. Now introduced in 2013, the Ghibli has returned from a hiatus to once again take on the likes of the BMW 5 Series back then. However, it will be phased out by 2025 as the Trident has experienced a decline in sales in recent years. Now, according to plans announced earlier this year, both the Quattro Porte and Ghibli will be merged into a single model in a few years time. From these, a new sedan will be born, but should still hold up the Maserati Quattro Porte nameplate. And we all knew this was coming as we saw Maserati's Fulgari plan, which is their EV lineup up for the next few years and the Maserati Ghibli was not included so we already kind of knew it was on its way out now obviously I felt this pain in a special way because I got introduced to the brand by the Maserati Ghibli as I bought the first Ghibli out of Maserati Daytona in December of 2014 and I bought another one in 2016 um, and I've made my channel and built my channel around my Ghibli and my experience with it and Started to fall in love with the brand, worked for the dealership, done tons of things with Alfa Romeo, Maserati, and now here I am talking about the Ghibli's demise. So this one definitely hits home to hear the official news and the Ghibli will be missed even though the scrutiny has been high all over the internet or just straight up hate from people like Doug DeMiro or Parker from Vehicle Versions. The Ghibli has had a tough run these years in the market, but it will be missed. I don't care what you guys say. Now, this is interesting news, but again, it's inevitable. With the exit on the market of this car, it will mark the end of a Maserati with a V8 as the current Ghibli, Quattro Porte, and Levante also are destined to be replaced by a new model in 2025. So they will be the last vehicles of the Monona car brand to have an eight cylinder engine. And these are the Trofeo models with the 3.9 liter twin turbo unit from the Ferrari origin. And as I've been doing these videos, I've been telling you guys to appreciate these engines while you can because they're going away. And now we know the Quattro Porte and the next Levante will offer a 100% electric engine, although it is not yet clear whether they'll be offered only with a full electric engine Engine, or if they'll have traditional versions as well. Grant Barling, general manager of Maserati Australia, told Drive that the long-term plan is that the Maserati Ghibli will be replaced with the new Quattro Porte. The goal is to merge the Ghibli and Quattro Porte into one car. Hence, the Quattro Porte will become a short wheelbase model similar in size to the Ghibli, but will be called the Quattro Porte. Now, as I mentioned, the reason why the Monanese car manufacturer has chosen to put an end to the Ghibli is to slow down to the sedan sales, as consumers are now more interested in the SUVs and crossovers such as the Gracale and Levante. Now, Barling also had said that the segment of large cars in which the Ghibli is present has decreased a lot. Sales are down, but Maserati's market share is increasing in the segment. And now, aside from the Porsche Taycan, this category has continued to post losses for around 15 years. Now, in Australia, the car market share has grown in a recent period. Referring to specifically the Australian market, the general manager said that Ghibli's share in the large luxury car segment rose from 4.4% to 5.9%, although sales fell 36% year on year. So the best year for the Maserati Ghibli in Australia was 2015, when 345 units were sold in 12 months, accounting for 7.2% of 4,781 vehicles sold overall in the large luxury car segment. Meanwhile, Quattro Porte registrations dropped 30% year on year. So far in 2022, Maserati has sold just seven units compared to the 10 in the same period in 2021 in a segment slowdown by 25.4%. Now, under the plan announced earlier this year, Maserati will go 100% electric by the end of the decade, offering every model sold with an electric version by 2025. 
Now, electric versions of the Gracale and Next Generation Gran Turismo and Gran Cabrio are expected to debut next year together with the zero emissions version of the MC20. And the next Quattroporte and Levante, on the other hand, are expected in late 2024 or early 2025. And finally, all future electric Maseratis will carry the Folgare badge, which in Italian translates as lightning. So again, Maserati made a decision. They have two sedans in the market. The Quattroporte has always been the flagship sedan and all markets are losing sales on sedans as SUVs just have been taking over and that's the trend so I get it you should get it we should all get it I mean, it shouldn't be anything that it should be surprising but at the same time doesn't make it hurt any less so with that said will you guys miss the Ghibli and will you guys miss the twin turbo v8 that we see in the Trofeo models I mean the Ghibli Trofeo is currently the fastest model in the range with a 203 mile per hour top speed now it's not the quickest because the zero to 60 is four seconds flat while the mc20 is 2.9 i believe so again it's not the quickest but it's currently the fastest because the mc20 goes 202 while the ghibli trofeo goes 203 so it is I mean, wow, if you see any Ghibli trophies over the next couple of years, they're going to be highly sought after um, and you guys are going to miss them. You're just going to see used ones around because, again, Maserati is moving over to electric because of EU emissions laws. And um, yeah, times are changing, guys. So let me know what you guys feel about the news of the Ghibli going away and the twin turbo V8. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the Maserati Ghibli being dead by 2024. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch. Guys, you can get t-shirts, stickers, tank tops. Backpacks are popular with Back to School. And you guys can check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. See everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat, just in case it doesn't make it here to the channel. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.